Hello, hello, Guardians. I am Ransom Rider. Not playing my favorite game, but making cookies from my favorite game. Now, Guardians, I have the Destiny cookbook. It's of great recipes in it. It's the official cookbook by Victoria Rosenthal. Uh, and I am baking cookies because, as you Guardians know, the dawning is rapidly approaching. Now, if you joined me last time, I made some really incredible chocolate chip cookies. But today, we're going to be focusing on Gallardoodles. This is Gallardoodles from the Destiny Cookbook, and I've read over this. This says difficulty is easy, but I've read it twice. I had to read it twice because it seems very complex to me. Like, I need a Sherpa. I need a Sherpa to help bake these cookies. Uh, Gallardoodles, and I did look up Gallardoodles. You know, these are make-believe. They're make-believe. Now, I'm going to be going over the recipe so that if you want to bake these at home, you can. Here it is. Want to hear it? Here it go. Three-fourth cup plus one-third cup whole cashews divided. Two and one-half cups all purpose flour, one half teaspoon salt, one and one half teaspoon baking powder, one cup unsalted butter, room temperature, three fourths cup sugar, two teaspoons vanilla extract, and one egg white. All right, that's your ingredients list. I have everything out here pre-measured ready to go, as if by magic. So let's dig right in. Place three-fourths cup of the whole cashews on a baking sheet. Bake for 10 to 15 minutes or until the nuts have browned. Transfer to a food processor and grind until fine. So I have my whole cashews. These are unsalted, unoiled, whole plain cashews. Let's place them in this pan, sprinkle them about. I feel like I need sound effects. Sprinkle them about, and I'm going to place these into the oven. It says 10 to 15 minutes or until golden brown. I think that's going to help pull out the nutty flavor, although I really love a good cashew. I'll be right back, Guardians. Stay with me because at the end of this recipe, we should have... Galler doodles, and I'm excited to be able to share it with you. I'll be right back. Let's see what this says. This is from the Destiny Cookbook. You most likely know how stern and cold Savala presents himself. Savala, you're stern and cold. It wasn't until I celebrated my first dawning at the tower that I learned how kind-hearted he can be. Now, this must be from Eva Levante's perspective. You know, I'm surprised she didn't need a cup of coffee in this little wording. I was making a batch of these cookies when he stepped by to tell me a joke. It was quite an awkward retelling, and frankly, I can't remember the punchline. But he seemed so much more relaxed after that. Since then, I make sure to whip up a batch of these for him every year, and Guardians, if you participated in the dawning, uh, you know we get a magic oven like that's imbued with the power of the traveler. My oven's not magic. I am not imbued with magic, but I'm hoping the cookies will create some magic all the same. You know, it's about sharing the love of the season and the dawning. Uh, it's about taking those, those batches of cookies delivering them and making someone else's day, making them feel good. If you make these cookies in real life, be sure you share them. Be sure you share them. All right, now the, the nuts are out of the oven. They're hot, they're roasted, uh, they're gonna be tasty. Ah, uh, the aroma of these freshly roasted cashews, it's exceptional. I wished I could share this with you, but I know you want the cookie. All right, I'm gonna let these cool down. And as I do that, let's take a look at the recipe book again. 
Okay, transfer to a food processor and grind until fine. Now, I have a food processor on hand, right? Let me set my ingredients out of the way. And I'm gonna pull these over. Uh, I want them to cool down just a tad because they are, these are still very hot, fresh from the oven. Uh, be careful with these, they're hot. Now, Guardians, I, you know, I don't know what's happened that I've gotten out of out of practice with some of this stuff, but let's put this on. It says grind or chop. Transfer to a food processor and grind until fine. Now this has chop and grind. This small one only has two settings. Let's grind it, cover your ears. Uh, this could get messy. All right, I have turned that into a very fine chopped bunch of cashews. Uh, I think that's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be good. All right, I'm gonna pull this off. I'm gonna open this up. How does it look? Uh, they're fairly fine. I mean, I feel like, but I think these will be okay. I'm, I'm sure there's an episode on some cooking channel about how fine a nut is when it can be called fine, but I'm okay with that. Let's refer to the book. Combine the ground cashews with the flour. Now the flour, this is two and a half cups of all purpose flour. Uh, I'm gonna set this on my cutting board. So two and a half cups, all purpose, yes. One half teaspoon salt, uh, and I have it here. Let's, let's mix it in. Salt is in. Uh, combine the ground cashews, flour, salt, and baking powder. Uh, this is my baking powder. It was one half teaspoon salt, one and one half teaspoons baking powder. You know, you're supposed to say magic words. Maybe I ought, I ought over these will do it, will make it better. All right, in a small bowl, combine the ground cashews, flour, salt, and baking powder. So let's pull out these grand ground cashews. Careful, this is sharp. All right, I wanna set this to the side because that blade is sharp. Uh, like a good sword, it's sharp. Cream the butter in a large bowl and mix until smooth. And this is two sticks of unsalted butter and I need to cream it. Okay, I'm gonna cream this butter and I have a mixer handy. Uh, cream the butter in a large bowl and mix until smooth. Oh, this is aggressive. This is aggressive. Okay, it's, it's calmed down a little bit. It's getting, it's getting creamy. Although I feel like butter, you know, it's pretty creamy to begin with. Cream the butter in a large bowl and mix until smooth. Add the sugar and mix well until incorporated. Okay, this is my sugar. And sugar was three-fourths cup. Where's her? All right, the sugar is in. All right, now mix until incorporated. Add the vanilla extract and the egg white. Vanilla, I'm going exactly as the book says. Vanilla extract. And how much was that? Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Oh man, that's, that's a little bit of heaven right there. That reminds me of making snow cream back home when I was a kid. You want that extra flavor? Put some vanilla in it. All right, now I'm just gonna whip this up. I wanna incorporate thoroughly my vanilla flavoring. Now I imagine this would be very, very difficult, time consuming without a mixer. All right, now add the egg white. I have one egg white and it's ready to go. In it goes. Egg white is in. I'm incorporating. I'm glad I have a big bowl for this. I, I definitely like to have uh, the proper bowl size. I see people mix and bake and make uh, and the bowl is just overflowing on the side. No, 
give me a big bow and give it to me now. I want a big bow. So, <laughs> all right, now uh, let's take a look at this. I'm gonna turn this off. Okay, let's pause it for a moment. Okay, add the flour mixture in two batches until just combined. Now this does not say mix it in. It says until it's just combined. Uh, let me get some proper utensils. I need a big spoon. I even might need a whisk. I wanna whisk that and make sure it's all together. All right, guardians, whisk in hand. This is a big one. Uh, you know, get the proper tool. You want big tools if you have a big job. Now, I'm going to incorporate all of this. This is the flour, the dry ingredients, uh, the nuts that we just roasted, freshly roasted. I mean, that even sounds like holiday. Freshly roasted nuts? Uh, yes. Now, I need to put half of this in and combine. So, in it goes half, half, that, that looks appropriately, maybe a little bit more, that looks appropriately half-ish. Now, I, I think I'm gonna use this mixer for just a tad because I'm thinking this would be a lot but to do it by hand or just with a spoon. And it's getting, look at that, it's thick. This will be a mouthful when you get one of these big cookies. It's thick. All right, now I wanna turn that off. You know, it's just a little line and a zero. I, I know that probably, you know, people in the know in the kitchen biz are probably saying, yes, finally a mixer with a line and a zero because that tells me all I need to know. Well, I'm old school. You know, we had on and off back in my day, on and off. Now that's half in. Wow, this is a lot. This is a lot. So add the flour mixture in two batches, two batches, one batch is in until just combined, place on a sheet of plastic and wrap on a counter and transfer the dough on top. That's, that uh, all sounds very confusing to me, but we're doing it. We're gonna do it. That's the last of the dry ingredients. Uh, you know, I just want to now incorporate, I'm, I'm using a mixer. I, I wished it would have said, you know, use a mixer or use your hands. But yes, Guardians, the season, I'm loving it. I want to hear from you, Guardians, on what your thoughts are about the season. Why, why is it so much better? So I feel like this is blended. I'm seeing a few nut pieces, but, you know, I feel like that's okay. Now, how am I going to get all this off? That's the question. Uh, I'm going to have to get me my spoon and try to get this removed because I don't want to leave any of that behind. Now, if this didn't have raw egg, this would be about the time that I would taste it. You know, I, I'd be getting me a small tasting spoon and I would be trying it to say, hey, does this need anything? Does it need some more vanilla flavor? Does it need a little bit of salt? Another nut or two. But I'm gonna clean these uh, the best I can with this big spoon, because we don't wanna leave any goodness behind. This is too good to leave behind. Uh, and I'm unanimous in that, I'm unanimous in that. <laughs> Word of the day, unanimous. All right, does that look about, uh, can, I, can I let this go to be cleaned? Can I give this to the dishwasher? Yes, I'm gonna set that to the side. I'm gonna take my big spoon and I'm gonna give it just a little last go through here. Uh, it's looking good. And I think I'll be able to form this. I wonder if I have enough plastic wrap because it says I need to roll it out. I've got to roll it out. 
All right, now remove it from my spoon. I'm gonna place my bowl to the side. Uh, I'm gonna straighten up a couple of dishes here because I've got a mess. And I'm gonna bring this over. I, I don't know, this looks small. This looks petite. Uh, I've got a second piece, Guardians. But I think this was for the top. I might have to get more plastic wrap. Now, let's refer to the book. Place a sheet of plastic wrap and then transfer the dough on top. Lightly press the dough into a square shape and then wrap. Use a rolling pin to flatten the dough. Place in the freezer for 10 minutes. I have a rolling pin. Uh, you know, I have it. I've got it. So let's do that. We're gonna place it out. Will it fit on one piece of plastic? Uh, they seem to think it will. They didn't say two pieces or they didn't say extra wide. That, uh, you know, that's a curse. This is technology that never seems to work right. Clovis Bray must have had a hand in it. All right, this is going out. My hands are clean. All right, it's coming out in a chunk. Okay, wow, wow. This is a mound. I'm, I'm a sculptor. I feel like I'm gonna have to put this on top. I am gonna have to use this. Uh, cling wrap, you know, obey. So I'm gonna put this on here and then I'm gonna roll this out. I have to cool this for 10 minutes and I'd rather have a thicker cookie than a too thin cookie. So that's rolled. Uh, luckily I have that rolling pin on hand. Let's bring my cookie sheet over. Now you saw me use the cookie sheet. Uh, this is going to go into the freezer for 10 minutes and we got to let it freeze. Uh, let me just make sure, Guardians. Place in the freezer for 10 minutes, then prepare a baking sheet with parchment paper. Remove the dough from the freezer and plastic wrap onto a lightly floured counter. Okay, I will flour this. Let's get this into the freezer, 10 minutes, and I'll be right back. I promise, at some point, this will turn into Gallardoodles, as if by magic. I'm Ransom Ryder, I'll be right back with you. Thank you, Guardians. Chad, I am referring, Guardians, I'm referring to this cookbook. Prepare a baking sheet with parchment paper. Okay, I am, I have, I have prepared the baking sheet with parchment paper. Remove the dough from the freezer and plastic wrap onto a lightly floured counter. So I've got to lightly flour my counter. Uh, and that just means not a lot, right? Not a lot. Gooch it around a little bit. All right, now that is a floured surface. Uh, I have a little bit extra here in case my hands get sticky with cookie dough, gallardoodle dough. It sounds like we need a song about it. Gallardoodle, gallardoodle cookies, gallardoodle cookie dough. All right, I'm ready. We're just waiting on the timer to go off. 10 minutes, five and five, and then I'll be able to roll out these cookies. I'm gonna grab my cookie cutter and I've got some extra cashews. I'm gonna make them decorative and festive. Uh, they're holiday. We're, we're delivering these for the holiday, right? We're, we're pretending that it's the holiday season. I know it's a little bit early, but I wanted to get it done. Okay, I'm coming right back. Thank Guardians, I am back. This pan has chilled. Uh, these have been in the freezer for 10 minutes. Uh, now I wanna transfer this over. It says to remove the plastic wrap. And I have the cookie here. Uh, let's get this, cause it says put on a floured uh, surface to roll it out. 
and then cover with plastic wrap. Now I pre-rolled my cookies, right? I did pre-roll, but let's go ahead and just roll a little bit more, uh, maybe to smooth out a couple of areas that might have been lumpy because we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. We're getting to the nitty gritty. I really feel like, like I, that I could have just put the plastic wrap down on my board and skipped the flower part of this, but I wanted to follow it exact. You know, I want, if something turns out and these are rotten, it could happen. Uh, I wanna say I did it exactly like the cookbook said. So that's rolled, that is rolled. Now I'm gonna pull the plastic off, right? Pull it off and I have my cookie sheet uh, my baking pan, my sheet has been pre-done. I have uh, the paper ready to go on it. This is, I think, a waxed paper uh, or a parchment paper. You probably could use a seal mat, one of the silicone mats on this. But I'm, again, following exactly what they told me. I want to get a cookie cutter. And I like a big cookie. I'm going to pull this apart. Somehow, some way, there it goes. And I wanna pull out the bigger cookie cutter. Now, if you had someone, somebody that didn't have a big appetite, use a smaller one, make a lot of littler cookies. Let's go big, go big or go home. Uh, here's my cookie cutter, let's try it. Now, I don't wanna rotate that because I do want them to rise a tad if you rotate, you know, it will seal the edge and I don't want the edge to be sealed. All right, let's pop that in. Uh, I'm cutting, I'm cutting. They're looking beautiful, right? They look absolutely beautiful. I feel like they, they look professional and because they've been frozen, they're beautifully firm. So they're keeping their shape. Now I might not get as many cookies as they said because I am doing them so big. But I prefer bigger, bigger is better. All right, I'm gonna pop that in. Let's see, can I get one right here? And I'm probably gonna rework my dough to utilize it cause uh, my grandmother always loved that little misshapen cookie. Uh, you know, she baked a lot frequently and she loved the little misshapen cookies and she made it really feel like you were getting something super special when you got that cookie that was irregular from the end of the cookie tray you know, you always felt like, wow, I got something really special here. Now I have another pan that I'm going to pop these, these little misfit cookies, right? I'm going to pop these into another pan. Uh, I've got the big, beautiful ones for show. And then I've got these little misfits. I'm not going to re-roll the dough because it is very firm. It's very firm, but I'm going to put these in and bake them because they should taste the same. Some of the little ones might come out really crispy and I'm okay with that. I love them gooey, I love them crispy. You know, either way, I'm good. I'm good, Guardians. All right, those are ready. Now let me show you the ones here that are ready to go into the oven. I'm gonna try to get them evenly placed so that they will bake beautifully. Let me show you these. Camera, do your thing. Do your thing now. Uh, that's the cookies as they look ready to go. And I'm gonna pop these in the oven in a preheated 350 degree Fahrenheit oven and bake 15 to 18 minutes. I'm gonna put these on about 10 uh, and I'm gonna do one little fine finishing touch. I'm gonna just pop a cashew on top uh, I've pre-cut some of these cashews. These were whole cashews 
So I'm going to pre-cut a cashew, pop it right in. I hope you can see that. I'm moving my pan everywhere. Calm down, Ransom. Calm down. Let's pop these in. Give them a little decorative look. Festive. You know, I would even like to sprinkle these with a little bit of sugar uh, and give them something fancy. Now, I feel like that looks better already. I broke that one. Let's get this one on. Nobody wants a broke nut. Let's put them in the oven. I'll be right back. Thank you, Guardians. Thank you, thank you. Almost ready for Gallardoodles. Guardians, these are fresh out of the oven. The aroma, uh, it smells delicious. They look phenomenal. I don't, I'm just so happy with these. Uh, let me show you, I think you can see this uh, from the cookbook. This is the photograph from the cookbook, the Gallardoodles. And I'm thinking mine look really good. You know, I cooked them for 18 minutes. These did cook at 18 minutes, but adjust that based on your oven. Now let's pull one out. I've got a fork because I just want to cut into one. They are too hot. Oh, Guardians. Oh my gosh. The texture. Let me just taste one of these. I'm going to blow on it. Uh, because it is straight from the oven. I don't want to burn my tongue. I don't want to burn tongue. Mmm. Mmm. Perfection. So good, Guardians. So good. I'm going to give this a recipe. I'm going to give the recipe thumbs up. This is Gallardoodles from the Destiny Cookbook. And those are so good. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Here's the cookbook. Again, this is by Victoria Rosenthal. This is the official cookbook. I have made for you the Gallardoodles, uh, and I'm excited. I want you to come back and visit with me. Come hang out. When you see me in game, let's play together, because this Season of the Witch, when I made these, Season of the Witch, I'm having so much fun, such a good time. I hope you are as well. Come and join me. Uh, if you see me and I'm in there, let's play together. Let's play together. Let's eat some cookies. Let's enjoy it. I'm Ransom Rider. Destiny 2 is my favorite game. These cookies are delicious. Bake them. I think you'll love them. Join me soon as I make some tea and we're going to get something for Devram K out of the Destiny cookbook. Now, I haven't forgot about the little misfits in the oven. I will pull those out, and I hope somebody can enjoy them. They're cutie pies, as we say back home. Little cutie patooties. Uh, leave a comment about why you're loving this season. I hope you're loving it the way I'm loving it. Leave a comment down below. If you bake these cookies, come back and leave a comment and tell me what you think about them. They're so good. Guardians, I'm going to have another bite of this. It's still hot, so I'm using a fork. Look at that. It's a beauty. Ah, oh, the smell, the flavor, uh, the little cashew that we browned in the oven earlier. Perfection. Absolute perfection. Mmm. Mmm. I love it. Bye. Bye.